Today I turn on the news, uh, take a peek, see how the what kind of condition the world's in, and uh, it blows my mind. Uh, they spoke on the news today about a squid-like creature, and that it's like an interdimensional thing, and that it's like the series Stranger Things. I told you guys this stuff would be known eventually by 2026 and it feels like it's coming sooner than that. I'm seeing it in the media. Four years ago I said people will know about the extraterrestrial situation and that they would know by 2026, fully know by 2026, and that they would start disclosing it in the year 2020. And I said this in 2018. People didn't believe me. And I talked about the ability to see with my eyes closed and how I could see my nervous system and uh, while doing these uh, deep state meditations. And uh, I said that these things would be known in the next few years. And it very well was, man. Three years later, they came out with a documentary called Superhuman. It describes everything I'm talking about. And uh, then I talked about the entity Us. And in 2021, they came out with the movie Us. Only difference is in the movie, they show you, they depict human-like figures that come through the glass. That's not true. They're not human. I have a real photograph of the entity us. So today, I, uh, after that, I took a peek on YouTube, and I've been saying this for three years, that they will find three pyramids on Mars, just like the ones on Earth, like the Giza pyramids, in the same alignment with Orion's belt, and there's a sphinx in front of it. The only difference is, is the sphinx has a dog's beak. I've been there. I've seen this in vivid detail. In meditation, I can astral project to these places. And it has more of, not like a dog's face. It has more of a face on it, like a dog, like a human kind of face up top. Maybe more, yeah, somewhat. But uh, his face, his beak is more like a dragon's beak than it is a dog's beak. And uh, today... I'm seeing evidence, a uh, video came out, and they're now saying that uh, they believe the Sphinx had a dog's type face and that it was reconstructed. What are the odds that all these things that I say come true, man? It's not a coincidence. It's because when you do these astral projections, these auto remote viewings, these meditations that I do, these energy exercises, the information is accurate. It's deadly accurate. You can see it just like you can with your own eyes. And uh, I seen the next event, the event that really fucks up our program is I seen Rochester, New York get smoked with a nuke. And that nuke travels about 30 to 50 miles north of Lake Ontario. That's going to be a problem. For the country of Canada. It cuts off our food supply, gas, hydro, all of it. I believe that this is going to occur this fall. There's only one thing that don't match um, that I'm trying to wrap my head around was is uh, my son has, has, has a bit of a beard and I can see a lighter blonde hair sticking out. And I can't determine if it's a white hair or a blonde hair. But I do believe this happens this year. It happens when there's no snow, no leaves on the trees, pavements dry, overcast, early morning. And on the very last day, we, we experience a flood. But before the flood comes, after, after New York gets hit, we are going to face uh, extraterrestrial issues here. And not only are we going to face extraterrestrial issues, we're going to face artificial intelligence issues. I warned of that vaccine for a long time. They want to interface the human brain with a machine. Well, I'm sorry, people, but we live in a matrix. And in this matrix, there are other players in other dimensions. It's not a wise thing to go and plug yourself into that matrix. If you want to plug yourself into that matrix, it has to be done naturally. There's going to be a solar event in the future, and it's going to transform us. That is the goal. The 